Hey, today I'm going to show you how to become strong at the beginning of the game using some glitches. We are also going to be going over a great way to get unlimited smithing stones. So let's dive into this. We are first going to arrive at gate front, as you saw there at the top left. We are going to then head this way. And when we go towards the fork road, we are going to take the left side. If you have sat down at the Lost Grace, you will receive your mount. So then you can head towards the east. As you come across this bridge, there will be a Knight Calvary. You can skip past him if it is nighttime. Head towards the left side. Continue north along the dirt path. And then take the right side. Do not head to the left. Then from there, you can proceed on forward. Continue the dirt path in the middle. And you will then come up towards a church. This is going to be one of the locations that we are going to be frequently coming back to. So let's claim the Lost Grace there, let's open up our map, and let's head to the marker I placed down. When you are here at the tree location, you are going to locate this scarab. It's going to be a silver sparkling scarab, you can then take it out and receive ground slam. When you have received ground slam, we are going to apply this to our character. Now to be honest, you're not going to be able to go to the round table unless you do this next method, but let's first acquires some of our items that we are going to be using later, such as the medallions. If you head to Fort Height or Fort Height, however you are able to say it, you can then go to the very top and rush towards the ladder and proceed up. Then you will then go towards the chest. Open up the chest and receive one of the medallions. You can jump off the castle to spawn back at the church. From here, we then want to go behind the church and use the teleporter. This is going to take us to Dragon Barrows. Go up to the teleporter, examine, and then click yes. This will take you to a different location that I just mentioned. When you are here, we are going to then head to this location that I just pinpointed on the map. If you are wondering how I have the map available, I went through this ahead of time so that you guys are able to see everything. But anywho, when you do continue towards the south slash west, you will come across that dragon. Easy to go around. You will then want to go towards the tree, go behind it, and use the lift. Once you are up, you can then proceed towards the castle, which is right there on the map. And it's straight ahead from the lift that we just took. Go all the way up to the top of the fort by using the ladder. When you are going up, you can then head forward and open up the chest to receive the other medallion. Now we have both pieces. So let's proceed on backwards to the beginning because we then need to go to the runes, which is the dragon runes. The reason why we are going here is because we have of course not defeated any type of bosses. So what we need to do is go towards the dragon runes and use a trap chest so that we can then proceed on forward towards the round table. Because the only way that you are able to go to the round table is if you defeat one of the bosses at the beginning. Now, in this case, we are going to skip that whole step by using this trap. When you have arrived, you will then arrive at the tunnel. Continue to go forward until you are at this Lost Grace, which is just the start or the uh, pretty much the entrance of this location. Let's head outside and then we are going to head east slash south because when we interact with the Lost Grace that we are going to head towards, is this is going to give us a chance to teleport towards the round table again the reason why we are doing this is because we have not defeated the first boss or any bosses for that matter so here we go when she is done talking she will ask you if you want to go to the round table click yes once you are here go to the right side and we are going to apply the ashes of war that we just received which is the ground slam we are going to apply this to one of the swords, so let's do that and let's choose heavy. You can choose whichever, and there you go, and bada boom. So we got that, now we gotta go towards this way, right towards the bridge, or the broken bridge. Once you are here, you can then take the way around the castle because we are going to avoid anything that has to do with the bosses and pretty much just avoiding everything. We are going to be picking up a specific item that is located at the crystal tunnel. And the way that we are going to do this is by using the ground slam. 
at an early level. This is pretty great as an option to take out this boss. So once you are at the Lost Grace, you can lower yourself down by jumping from one tombstone to the other. This is the best way to get down and then proceed on forward to the next set of tombstones. When you are finally down on the lower level and you are on the lake, you can proceed towards the cave or the crystal tunnel, which I just mentioned a few seconds ago. I will not guide you all the way there because it is a straight shot. Yet once you are here, go inside, take the elevator down and make sure to claim the lost grace because of course, if anything happens, you have a place to go back towards. So there we go. This is the location. Again, if you kind of skip through, the reason why most of the maps are available is because I went ahead and grabbed it uh, ahead of time. So go ahead, use the ground slam. When you do this, it will cause a good amount of damage. And eventually, this boss will have its, I guess its crystal body kind of broken up or shattered and you can continue to do this and you will then receive the smithing bell the first one so from there we are going to go over here and pick up the glenstone key once you have picked up this item we can then locate the next location that we need to be so that we can then use the teleporter that will take us up to the academy if you have a lost grace that's claimed here already feel free to spawn there then let's head forward towards the west slash north and we are going to use the teleporter located right ahead. Once you have teleported, you are going to then proceed on to this next step, which is going to be the fun part because we are going to take the lift and we are going to use the glenstone key so that we can go through each of these gates or these sills. And then let's use it on this right side. Then from there, proceed on forward towards the lift and that is located north slash east. So proceed on forward. We can then take the lift, which is located up there. Once you are there, use the interact button and then go on to the next location, which be the Atlas Plateau. So follow the path right here and we are going to arrive right there. You can do this just by simply going along here and go through the doors and you'll be a-okay. Once you are at the top, you will then see the doors that I just mentioned head towards the east because we are going to locate another tunnel where we are going to pick up the second bell which is easy to grab there's no boss no nothing like that you just need to proceed down here and go past these poisonous enemies and then here you are claim the lost grace and then we can go towards this wall right here slash it because it is a secret door and wow here we are at the sealed tunnel and what you want to do is drop down below right there I was and then right here and we can then take the right side open up the chest and there's the second bell and now to finish up everything we need to acquire a lot of runes fast which can be done at this location which is Rose Church when you are here there will be an NPC he will ask you to invade three times then he will give you a white cloth which you then need to soak in some of the Bloods Maidens, which I made a great guide in that, and I'll leave a link to that. But it's quite easy to go through. Anyways, once you do acquire that item, you can then teleport towards this location, go towards the staircase, go all the way to the top, and then let's claim this Lost Grace. Go towards the north, just drop down, and then get onto your mount. You're going to proceed towards the tree trunk here. You are going to jump on top of it and then jump towards the left. Jump, then double jump. Then jump to the left, then jump to the right, and then you can jump off to the mountain. A lot of you should know this, but hey, just going over it because we do need to acquire the runes. Continue slashing away. Once you do have the runes, you will then receive some items as well if you do this for your first time. We can then proceed on forward. I had done this a few times prior to making this video, so you may see a difference in my HP bar throughout the video, so that's why. I've done this quite a few times and acquired a great amount of runes, and I purchased these fallen items. If you guys want to get some more smithing stones or the bells, you can acquire some early ones by using the teleportation glitch, 
which this does work on Xbox. Go to the four belfries, grab the key at the top, and then go to the teleporter at the bottom. When you use this, you are going to then open up the teleporter, examine it, and click yes. At this point, you'll open up your map, you'll go to the round table, and then right as you load, or as you click the round table and it goes to the loading, on Xbox, you'll click the middle button, go to the left, and then close your app. Uh, for PC, it's Alt F4. You will then load back in and teleport to this location. You can proceed on forward, straight ahead, and this will give you one of the bell bearings. Really easy stuff. There you go, guys. Hope you enjoy the video. Let's give a huge shout out to everyone that is a current YouTube member. Let's give a huge shout out to Merciless Shadow, Tyrone CX3, Evoking, Chris Fnug, Robert V, Diabolic Greater, Hell Inc., Chicago Bears, King Nasty, Captain Ziggy, Jace, Mad Medic, Big Case, Captain Awesome, Big Bearded Texan, and Syringes KB. Thank you so much for remaining as current YouTube members. I appreciate all the love and support from you and everyone that's currently subscribed. I will see you all on the next video.